Hi, I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a skull head for Day of the Dead, Dias de los Muertos. So first I'm going to do, put a, three fingers at the top and draw me a dot. Then I'm going to start from the dot going to the left and draw a big curve line out and curve in. Go back to the dot, draw another big curve line out, curve line in. On the left hand side I draw a straight diagonal down, slightly curved line over, and on the right a straight diagonal down connect. In the center I'm going to draw an upside down heart, and I'm going to draw a straight line going up and a little straight line going down. On the left hand side I'm going to draw a big oval and on the right hand side I'm going to draw another big oval. I come down to the bottom and right here I'm going to bring this curve line up and I'm going to extend this one on the right up and right here on the left I draw a straight line down on the left and a straight line down on the right. Then I go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on top. And then I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on the bottom. Now take a look because this is your basic skull head drawing. And the second part now is to decorate doing is adding different lines. So I'm going to come down to the mouth and go curve line, curve line, curve line across. And I'm going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, again across. Now I'm going to mimic the line going all the way around the mouth. And the more detail I put on my skull head, the better it looks. I come up to my eyes and I'm going to start with a zigzag or triangles all the way around and I do the left side first come back up and then do the right side going down. Do the same on the right and again the more things you add, the better it looks, but you don't want to add so many things that you don't want to color it all in. So we're going to take our way through the details to make sure we do what we want to do. Right in the center, I'm going to draw a little cross, and then I'm going to cross my cross and add some curved lines just for a decorative element. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go curve line, curve line, curve line on the left. Come on the right, curve line, curve line, curve line. This is good because everything is going to be symmetrical. So I go straight line, spiral on the left, straight line, spiral on the right. I come in and I do a curved line on the left, curved line on the right. Inside I'm going to do a spiral flower and leaves. A spiral flower with leaves. I'm going to put baby circles all the way around the edge of my eyes. And again, like I said, the more things you add, the better it looks, but then again you don't want to add so much detail you don't want to color it all in. Fortunately the base of this is going to be white so our addition of color will be minimal. I'll come down and 
draw some straight lines on my teeth, add some curves on the left, on the right, a couple of lines on my nose, and dots going off from one section to the other. I can come inside and draw another mimicked oval and draw straight lines going all the way around. You can do all kinds of designs using all kinds of repeating patterns. That's basically what this is and using sym symmetry. Whatever you draw on the left, you draw on the right. One last curved line down here at the bottom. And now we're ready to color. For coloring, I'm going to use marker just because it's easier and it gives you a more vibrant finish. Again, this is going to take a while, so what I usually do is I break this up into sessions. First session is drawing, second session is coloring, and I would even designate certain times to stop so you don't get tired and don't want to finish, because that's usually what happens. It can be a two-day, three-day project. So for this, I'm using red, I'm using yellow, I'm using green for my colors. I drew with permanent marker. The color is watercolor marker, so I can go over my lines and they won't run. And again, the more color you have, the better it looks. I'll throw in a little bit of blue. Again, even with the color, you do repeating patterns and you do symmetrical. Whatever you color on the right, you're going to color the same way on the left. This is my Day of the Dead skull, all colored in, ready to scare everybody. Okay, bye-bye.